Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Uh, I'm doing a, a an AD and D story. It's not really a story. It's a magic item description, I guess. Uh, I, I started playing D and D a long time ago. I've been running Dungeons and Dragons since 1979. I've been doing this a long time, and I'm trying to give out, make videos for advice for players that that new dungeon masters can use, and it'll help them in their game. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, the the magic item that I'm going to talk about today is the Staff of Power. And, and again, I'm not saying this is how you do it. I'm giving advice that you can take or leave as you want to. Uh, the whole purpose is to have fun. I'm trying to help you out here. Okay, uh, again, the item I'm going to talk about today is the Staff of Power. This is on page 134 of the Dungeon Master's Guide, 134 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. I suggest you read through it very, very thoroughly, the description, because I, I guarantee you your players will. This is one of the most potent items in the game. It can be seriously, it can seriously unbalance your game. So be very careful when and where you place these in your world. Uh, if your players get a hold of one, I guarantee they're going to love it. And for some, the, 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 this is one of the few items that there's only two, I think, that that you're is allowed to do it. It's uh, it allows you to do what's called a retributive strike, and for some reason, players gravitate to that. I want to do it. I want to do it. Why? You die. I just want to do it. I got a 50% chance of survival. It's a 50/50 chance you either die or get sent to another plane. And I'm going to talk about all this here in a minute. But for some unknown godless reason, players want to do it. I, I don't know why. It's like, I, I talked about this in the Staff of the Magi video. The deck of many things, for some reason, players want to draw four cards out of that. I have no idea why. Let's tempt fate. You know, it's just a game. You know, kind of thing. I don't know. All I know is... Um, when I, I rarely ever give out a Staff of Power or a Staff of the Magi because they're very, very potent items and they can seriously unbalance your game. Uh, staff of Power has many functions. Uh, continual Light, Darkness, 5 Foot Radius, Cone of Cold or Fireball, Levitation, Magic Missile, uh, excuse me, Magic Missile or Lightning Bolt, uh, Ray of Enfeeblement, Shield, 5 Foot Radius, Globe of Invulnerability, Paralyzation Ray. I mean, it just, all these cost various things, and for the, for the, you know, this or that, you roll randomly, 50-50 chance for which one is the staff can do, because they sometimes do different things. It also acts as a plus two ring of protection. It, it acts as a plus two weapon, and if you, if you uh, expend one charge, you can actually do double damage with it. You can't do triple for three, but you can do double for a charge expended. The staff can be recharged. So, you know, this is, uh, these things are exorbitantly powerful. This is also one of the only two items that can, that is capable of being broken for a retributive strike. Essentially, the possessor of the staff says, fuck it, if I'm going out, I'm taking you all with me. And he raises the staff and intentionally, and he states it, I'm going to do the retributive strike, and then he breaks it. Okay. Uh, breaking the staff as a retributive strike is terrifying. It The staff explodes when it's broken like that in, in this retributive strike. It's a three double mark radius explosion. It's either 30 feet inside or 30 yards outside. And uh, the damage of this blast radius is enormous. It's eight times the number of charges that are remaining in the staff. So if it has 15 charges left, it'll do a 120 points of damage because 15 times eight. If it's got 10 charges, it'll do 80 points, 10 times eight. Whatever, however many charges are left in the staff, times eight, that's how much damage is blast radius. Players, anybody in there in that radius that gets hit in that blast, they have to save versus magic or they take full damage. If they make their save, they take half. But it's just, it's ridiculous. The, the mage breaking the staff essentially has a 50% chance of either plane traveling or, you know, to another plane, which can be extremely dangerous because it's a random plane, or being totally destroyed. Um, and if you're totally destroyed, there's no resurrection. 
So players who think, oh, I'm just going to die, I'll just get resurrected. No, it completely. It didn't say dead. It says destroyed. It's a whole different critter. This is obviously the last act of a desperate man or woman, but I have seen players chomp at the bit to do the retributive strike just to see what happens. The entire I've had entire parties wiped out by these things. They are just, they're nasty. Be very careful when you hand these things out. They're, they're, they're not meant for everyday use. That's all I'm saying. They're very potent items. They're up there along with uh, some artifacts. There are artifacts that are less powerful than these. So just keep that in mind. And again, I'm not saying you, this is how you do it. And don't be afraid to put them in your game. Just be very careful how you do it. Okay. Uh, again, these, this is just advice. Take it or leave it. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.